Have you ever felt different? Like maybe you didn't fit in with your group of friends. That can feel funny. Sometimes that can even make us feel sad. Well, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be you. Today, we wanted to read to you a story about being different and how that can be wonderful because you are special. Quacks Like a Duck it was written by our friend Stephanie Campisi and illustrated by also our friend Maria Lebedeva. Let's read it. Quacks like a duck. Tonight was the night of the party. It was Petunia's first party since arriving from Australia. It had taken months to get over the jet lag and the lack of Vegemite. But Petunia was all set. She had a present and a party hat and a pavlova for mom's recipe. But when she knocked on the door, Oh, dear. It was a costume party. Petunia had missed that bit on the invitation. Good day, she said softly. Everyone stopped to stare. No one knew quite what to make of her or her pavlova, which was wilting in the heat. What's that supposed to be? asked a disco diva. Better yet, what are you supposed to be? She's a duck, came a cry. Petunia flushed. I'm really not. She got all this a lot these days. What's wrong with ducks? demanded a ninja. Do you have something against ducks? You know what they say, said a knight in scaly armor. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck and has a funny accent like a duck, added the disco diva. Now, hang on, a tick, said Petunia. This just proved their point. Definitely funny, very funny. And you have a bill. Do you have webbed feet? Can you lay eggs? Well, yes, said Petunia though she was not sure how they knew about the eggs. But I don't quack, because I'm not a duck. Is that so? Because the evidence indicates otherwise, said the detective. Petunia retreated to the dessert table, while everyone gathered together trying to figure her out. Aha! She's a beaver! decided a punk rocker. Look at her tail. No, no, she's an otter. Look at her fur. I'm not either of those. Petunia wanted to sink into the linoleum. Back home, it was perfectly normal to be a duck-billed, otter-footed, beaver-tailed, egg-laying, Frankenstein's monster, yelled a cowgirl, a very tall party guest wobbled into the room. It had a bill and webbed feet and a thick, fat tail and was carrying a plate of fairy bread. How rude, quacked the party guest. What you see is no monster, Frankenstein or other. We're a majestic platypus, a water-loving, egg-laying, fuzzy-wuzzy marvel of nature. Petunia blinked. She was a bit fuzzy-wuzzy. Do platypuses quack? asked the knight in scaly armor. Just the duck bit quacked the platypus. That makes sense, said an artist. Did it really? wondered Petunia. So weird. There's nothing else on earth as weird as a platypus. Huh, said the punk rocker. Echidnas are, blurted Petunia. It runs in the family. Her echidna's cousins were weird and much less fuzzy wuzzy. That's news to me, said the platypus. 
One of the beetles turned to Petunia. You still haven't answered the question. What are you supposed to be? Petunia looked at the platypus. They'd worked so hard in their costume. She didn't want to steal their thunder. I'm not anything, said Petunia. I'm just me. Well, that's something, isn't it? said the Disco Diva. Petunia supposed that it was. The platypus took a bite of pavlova. You know, I have no idea what this is, and it looks really weird, but it's actually pretty great. Sometimes good things come in weird packages, said Petunia. The duck makes a good point, said the knight. I mean, look at all of us. He was right. Costume or no costume, Petunia stood out. But she also fit right in. Now, did you know that the platypus is definitely not a duck? Petunia is a platypus, a delightfully weird egg-laying mammal found only in the rivers and wetlands of Australia. Just like Petunia, the first platypus specimen examined by scientists caused much confusion and bewilderment. A hoax, they declared. They were wrong, of course. As Petunia jokes, platypuses and echidnas are indeed cousins and belong to an order of mammal called monotremes. Monotremes. <laughs> monotremes not only lay eggs, but also feed their young with milk. And although platypuses are shy and therefore hard to spot in the wild or at parties, many Aussies carry one in their wallets. The Australian 20 cent coin features a platypus. We hope that you've enjoyed Quacks Like a Duck, written by Stephanie Campisi and illustrated by Maria Lebedeva and published by Familius.